Thank you guys for clicking on the video. I am Sully and today fellas we have our YouTube hockey tournament challenge and I figured why not do something I do on my channel and bring it over for this and I'm going to tell my hockey story. I haven't even told it on my own own channel and for those of you who don't know that's where I have subscribers write me their hockey story how they came to fall in love with the game and then I tell that story over a youtube shootout video and i put your link in the description and it helps me get to know you guys better and my subscribers can get to know other subscribers better so let's get into my story my story started out when i was really young i would play nhl 96 uh, on the computer i would always ask my dad to play it and i think what drew me to hockey over any other sport is just the love of hearing ice skating you know the skates going you know grinding against the ice i i don't know what it was but that sound it just resonates with me and i could never shake it and i loved hockey ever since i heard that sound and that's why i want to go to canada to play hockey but that's neither here nor there back to my story when i was really young i finally had the chance to play hockey it was at a camp where i would learn the fundamentals and i was pretty decent you know for a toddler i was all right i didn't know how to stop and it was a little camp so I had this scrimmage, and I remember going down. I scored a hat trick in the scrimmage, and my grandmother was watching. And I would always recall just like the announcers, because I grew, I currently am still in the DC area. And I remember Peter Bonds or Peter Bonsai, as the announcers would call him. And I would always recall, you know, when I scored, I just remember like Peter Bonsai shoots, he scores. And I always remembered that. It always stuck with me when I would score. I would recall that, and I try to act like Peter Bondra. I love the guy, and I would, I grew up watching the Capitals when they had Steve Connell, Walchuk, Adam Oates, uh, Chris Simon even, you know, I forget some others, but only the goalie, you guys know who I'm talking about, and I, I love that, nine, that 90s team, it was such classic players, Brandon Witt, I believe, but once they got rid of those guys, you know, they had some down years, and I still loved hockey, and then when they got Ovi, you guys know, you know, some of you may hate Ovi. I, I love the guy. He's part of the team, you know, and I, I can't not root for him. I understand why people don't like him, but I had to give up hockey when I was young because of my family situation with my mom's uh, paralysis and my brother's Down syndrome. The money that it would cost to to join a league when I was that age and equipment and you know the drive was like an hour and 15 minutes or an hour and a half and for some of you you know your parents drive you two hours to the rink and my parents would do that if we had the ability to so I had to give up hockey and I still to this day don't uh, I I've rarely skated I still uh, don't completely know how to stop I'm not a you know I didn't play in high school I've always wanted to go back and play but you know what life kept on kept on going it and I still loved hockey and then when I went to college you know I did broadcasting for hockey I did play-by-play -play, color for our college games uh, there's some videos out there of you on YouTube of me doing it and that passion for hockey man the love of the game ever, ever since I heard that sound and the the few chances I've had to play it I loved it and now it's carried over to my career actually I just uh, literally a few days ago was able to work at Kettler Iceplex which is the practice facility of the Washington Capitals and I will be working in their team store and it's just crazy to think how how much God has blessed me and to have the ability my whole life to love something and then apply it to my job it's just amazing and that's my hockey story I could go into it more but I understand there's a deadline. So thank you guys for watching the video. Take care. Have a great day. Peace. I'm going to be giving you a introduction to Ojibwe Spearheads. So as you can see, we're 21, 27, and 4. Our overall record in our last 10, the not last 10 games. Season record is 3-2-1, and, and our current division is 7. So going in here to our rosters, you're going to see Jordan Hunt with 8 points, Kevin Vince, 3 points, he's our goalie. We got two shutouts.
You had Scott Hauser with 58 points with 39 games. You got Peter Pellegrino, only 11 points. I don't know what the hell he's doing. He sucks. He's like the suckiest guy on our team. Then you got Raw Dog Comtard with 71 points. By far our best player on our team. And here I am. Special Magical 4. 52 points. I have 6 power play goals and 3 shorties. And I'm not very good at goalie right now. So as you can see, that's our team. Really quick here, I might go into the in the stats here. Uh, let's see, what where do we have to go? Club history, we're gonna check out the record book. So most points on our teams from Roger Jr. Points in a game is Roger Jr. Goals is Roger Jr. Roger Jr. Nash 4998. Peter has the most assists with five. Roger Jr. has the most game winning goals with seven. And I'm nowhere near on here. I don't know where the hell I am. I don't think I'm on here. Most penalty minutes 193 goes to Nash. Most penalty minutes in the game goes to Nash. Hits. Goes to Roger Jr. Hits 21. Goes to Roger Jr. Power play goals goes to Roger Jr. with 8. There I am. Power play goals in the game. 2. Short handed goals goes to Roger Jr. with 4. Roger Jr. Short handed goals in the game. There I am again. One block shot. Big deal. This game sucks though with block shots. They don't count anything. Black shots in the game. One. Giveaways. 346 goes to Nash. Habs rule. It's giveaways in the game. Takeaways is me with 86. Seven is me. Takeaways in the game. Shots with 201 is Scott Housen. Shots in the game. 18 goes to Roger Jr. Fights 27 goes to Snash. The only one's Kevin V. Awesome. Shout out to two Kevin V. Awesome. So that's it for this introduction to Ojibwe Spearheads. As you can see, we got some very good, not very good, we got some decent players along with one really terrible guy that we're going to have to get rid of soon. He sucks at every position, but. Hope you guys enjoyed and hope you liked this video.